The debate over the importance of Rodrigo Hernandez for Manchester City is set to continue after Pep Guardiola's side was held to a 1-1 to -one draw away to Newcastle United. Without Rod Rhee, who had an operation in Spain at the end of the week for his damaged knee ligament, Guardiola included both Ilkay Gundogan and Mateo Kovacic in his starting 11. City got off to a positive start and took the lead in the 35th minute when Josko Gvardiol finished, following an assist from Jack Grealish. But Newcastle improved in the second half and leveled just before the hour mark when Anthony Gordon scored from the penalty spot after he had been brought down by City goalkeeper Ederson. Liverpool moved to the top of the Premier League with a 2-1 win away to Wolverhampton Wanderers in Saturday's late kickoff. Ibrahim Kanate put Liverpool ahead with a header from a Diogo Hoda cross just before half-time, but Ryan Eight Nori equalized for Wolves following a mistake by Hoda. The home side's joy was short-lived as just five minutes later Amosella scored the winner from the penalty spot after a foul by Nelson Semedo. Leandro Trossard scored twice, with his second coming deep into injury time, as Arsenal overcame a second-half hiccup to win 4-2 at home against Leicester City. Chelsea striker Cole Palmer had a day to remember as he scored all four goals in their 4-2 win at home against Brighton. Raul Jimenez's 51st minute penalty gave Fulham a 1-0 win away to Nottingham Forest to end the home side's unbeaten start to the season, while two goals from Dwight McNeil gave Everton their vital first win of the campaign after Mark Gahey had put Crystal Palace ahead after 10 minutes of their match at Goodison Park. Tomas Sousek's 54th minute goal saved a point for West Ham United away to Brentford who had taken the lead through Brian Bumo's first minute goal from Fabio Carvalho's assist. The point ends a difficult week for West Ham coach Julian Lopetegui after heavy defeats to Liverpool and Chelsea.